at the Dare to Dream stables, chatting to Pitt Witt about his runners for Tuesday, the 2nd of April at Hollywood Vets Kenilworth. Pitt, thanks so much for your time as always. So you've got a quite a busy day, five runners on the card, starting with race one, the 1200 meter maiden juvenile plate. You're settling PJ, a two-year-old Canford Cliffs Colt. He's drawn eight with Craig Bantam on board. This is going to be his first time and he's running in the syndicate colors. How's he going? Uh, yeah, he's been doing quite nice at, at home, um, but he's, he's still very green and, and still quite soft, so he's, he's got a long way to, to go still. Um, this is just going to be a, a nice educational run for him. He hasn't had a gallop or anything yet, so um, I'm expecting him to be um, quite green and um, he is going to need this run. Also, he's a horse that's looking for a bit further, so... Um, I'm just hoping that he'll run on nicely and, and, and run a decent race and, and um, get good experience from it and, and improve a lot from it. So, nice horse, very nice horse. I, I do like him quite a lot and I think he's going to be very exciting going forward, but uh, just not ready yet. Race three is an 1100 meter juvenile plate. You're settling Garden Sun, a two year old Flower Alley gelding, um, part of a rich man's gold mess, a really nice Volker Boss drift pedigree there. Also, first time, um, it's got the true draw, Keenan Stain on board. Um, what can you tell us about this one? Um, pretty much the same thing, really. Um, he, he's, not a, he's not a very big horse, he's a, he's a well built horse, but um, not a very tall horse, and um, he shows quite a, quite a bit of speed at home. So. Um, I think he's ready to, to go and have a good gallop and I'm hoping that maybe he can surprise us and, and run a little bit better than expected because he, he seems to be quite, um, quite forward of, of late. Um, you know, his last few workouts, he's done everything right and showed a lot of maturity in his last, uh, last few workouts. But um, he, he, another one that should just be, be needing the experience and, um, you know, he's just also going there just to have a good gallop and, and learn a little bit about what he needs to do going forward and, and hopefully he um, surprises us a little bit and runs a, a better race than um, expecting. Um, but uh, yeah, not, not quite ready yet. Super. Um, race four, 1400 meter maiden plate for fillies and mares. You're sending out Darling Girl, two-year-old Ideal World filly. Um, she's got two starts under the belt as well. Um, she's got an eight draw, JP Fun and Mather on board and a nice weight of 56. She's, um, you've been um, progressing her a little bit. She started out over a thousand, then 12, and now 14 here. How's she going? Yeah, she's doing well. Um, she's a filly that's going to need a lot, a lot further. So even, even this is going to be too, too short for her. And this is going to be quite interesting. Um, the, the first time juveniles are stepping up against the older horses. <clears throat> I don't think it's the, the right distance really to, to be doing that. But um, I think she can do with the experience. Unfortunately, she's got a wide draw. Um, you know, we were hoping to get a decent draw from her, and um, you know, so that she doesn't. Have, we don't have to use it too much. Um, so yeah, I think um, you know, just really hoping that uh, the race works out well for her and she gets herself into a nice position and can hold her own against the older horses. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm not exactly sure what to to expect. Um, I, I personally believe that she's a very nice filly. She's she's a great mover. Um, she, she's quite a quite a big filly, quite a tall filly as well. Um, whatever she does now, I just know that she's going to get better when she goes over further. Race five is an 1800 meter open maiden for fillies and mares. You're saddling Sansa Stark, the three-year-old erupt filly. Also a lovely pedigree out of a Sabiango mare. So eight starts under the belt. Um, she's drawn five, got Richard Ferry on board and 58 and a half. And you're sending her out in blinkers. Uh, seemed to do, she seemed to have a really nice run for Richard last time out. So um, what are you, you must be hopeful for set for, for Tuesday. Yeah, look, she, she needed that run last time. Um, it was her first run back after a bit of a break. And um, I, I, I feel like, um, you know, we, we always, we were told quite quite early that she's going to go a lot lot more ground, and I was of the opinion that it was maybe too far too too soon. Um, Richard last time when he got off su suggested that we bring her back to a mile. Um, we haven't done that now. We I'm giving her one more run over this this trip only, only because I know that she needed that that run last time. Um, I worked to myself on on um, Tuesday, and on the work I, I was of the opinion that 
maybe we are stretching her just a little bit too much. I don't quite think that she's strong enough and ready for, for that distance yet. So um, if, if I go just on her last run and the, the improvement she's made in work, I think she's got to have a chance in a, in a race like this. But um, at the back of my mind, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about the, the 1800 meters. I, I just, I'm just of the opinion that she's not quite ready for, for that distance yet. So um, I'm not going into this race with a lot of confidence, um, even though her work has improved and I know that she, she needed that last run. So I, I'm quite hopeful that she can pop up here, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be um, too disappointed if she, if she fails and, and maybe just runs a place, um, because I, I just know that she will come on more from this run. Perfect. And then uh, race eight, 1,000 meters Cape Sea Stakes. Um, you're settling Easy Maddy, two-year-old Patala Palace filly. Um, she's also got 19 starts under the belt, two wins already. Jumps from the nine draw with Keenan Stain on board and 57 to shoulder. Blinkers on this time as well. Um, she seemed to improve with the blinkers last time out. And uh, are you looking for similar again this time round? Yeah, I think it's a it's a pretty similar feel to last time. Last time, you know, she's a she's a tiny filly, and last time she came in with a nice lightweight. Now she's carrying a little bit more, so um, not going to be as easy for her. But um, I, th I think it's a similar similar type of feel to last time. So expecting a similar type of run.